Synergy in audio is arguably more important than just having random, higher-end components. Without it, you can expect brightness, sharpness, dull sound, lack of musicality, impact, detail, and other unwanted effects. Synergy in audiophile cables also exists, but if you want to skip the part where you have to actually try multiple cables and interconnects, there is a way. Please leave a like, let's get to it. Audiomica has a 4-all-in-1 cable set made primarily for integrated amplifiers and passive speakers. It isn't limited to such setups though, it can grow with you or adapt to systems with separate components. There are two variants, the standard that comes at 790 euro for a kit containing a pair of 2.5 meter long speaker cables and a 1.5 meter long power cable. But there is also the pro version, which is a bit more expensive, as you might guess, and also is an identical kit, but there are some technical and visual differences. Let's start with the standard one. The power cable, of course, is made to be connected to an integrated amplifier. It is quite thick, but stays very flexible, and can make somewhat tight bands without having problems. The standout thing about it is that, no matter how weird it sounds, I have never touched a nicer feeling cable in my life. It has some sort of premium feeling, for sure, but also softness in a way. The best way I have to describe it is to say that it feels sort of like a squishy rubber material, although in reality it's not. The plugs are rather simple, plastic, but you can pick whichever type your country uses. Its diameter is around 11.5 mm, making it considerably thicker than stock cables, but not as thick as some other options on the market. I have to say, it looks very pretty in real life. I'm not sure why so much audiophile gear has to be black and red colored, but in this case, it works. Please subscribe to my channel if you're still watching. For the speaker cable, what's interesting, it's about 1mm thicker in diameter. It is similarly flexible though, and also feels extremely nice in hand. I have absolutely no idea how they made it so soft and feel so premium, but I enjoy it a lot. It has black splitters, after which the cable separates into positive and negative wires. This section no longer has a mesh braiding, instead it has a jacket that is similar to a shrink wrap. It is terminated with either bananas or spades, you can pick whichever connection you prefer. There is also a pro version of this kit, which comes at a slightly higher price, but offers a few build quality and technical upgrades. I would highly recommend paying a bit extra for the improved build quality alone. The power cable gets heavy, metal connectors that feel fantastic. The speaker cable also gets new connectors. They look nicer and don't have a DIY feeling. But more importantly, the last around 20 cm are no longer in that plain jacket alone. They have a proper mesh finish, making them even more eye-catching. These cables have tint OFC conductors, which is nothing unusual for this price range. Yet what's interesting is that the Pro version uses a higher purity of that copper, has an extra internal wire and slightly different geometry. Both cables are shielded using aluminum foil and tint copper around the braid for optimal outside interference rejection. Shielded speaker cables are not something you see every day. Moreover, it uses 192 microconductors inside, which seems like a lot, but as you get to the high range of cables, you realize that it goes much, much higher. The power cable has 256, which makes sense as it carries more current. While the standard version is just a regular, but nice cable, in the Pro variant, Audiomica decided to show off its technologies, so we can hear their impact on the sound quality. Here we are mainly talking about the element that is made to absorb static charges, so they don't get carried around to the amplifier and eventually to your speakers. The company mentions that making the complete set from the same copper fraction ensures excellent consistency and eliminates the weak link effect, which is often found in the included or improperly selected cabling. That's why with this kit you don't have to worry about cable matching or synergy. The engineers have already done that for you, and it's great. 
This cable has a quite drastic effect on the sound. Usually when you change just one cable in your setup, you get some change for sure. But in this case, you're changing two cables, which makes for an even larger difference, especially since these cables are of different types. What you can expect to hear first when you're going with them is that the sound is fairly dynamic in the initial attack, followed by quick decay for bass notes. It makes for a very fast presentation that focuses on being clean and transparent than slow or stereotypically bassy. Through the mids it sounds quite full, not overly warm though. The vocals are well separated with a slight metallic timbre. This tiny timbre offset could be caused by the cables revealing some issue in my chain or simply their nature. At the end of the day, nothing is perfect or perfectly neutral. Audio is just about getting as close to perfection as possible while choosing the imperfection and coloration that you like. Let me know in the comments down below whether you agree with that. The treble range got a small boost in detail, however it got much less sharp at the same time. It's engaging, but not sibilant or sharp. That's exactly what I'm looking for in my setup. I've got pretty bright speakers already, so making them even brighter is definitely not the way to go. Yet details are something I always want more of. Taming down the treble and getting more of the good stuff is an excellent thing to have. It's like having a cake and eating it too. The Pro version has some technical improvements over the standard version and some tonality changes as well. Let me briefly go over them all. The first thing I noticed about them is that they have slightly more clarity in the vocals, instruments and everything else. Their ability to retrieve fine details is enhanced a step more, but they go yet another step away from being bright. I found that a perfect match to my setup and I'm quite confident that most of you will find it a great fit too. The dynamics also improved, but it was not a dramatic change. I think it has to do mostly with the plugs used here, as their contact resistance and connection quality are superior. It was a very nice change nevertheless, just not as big as some other things. At some point you might wonder how to decrease the amount of background noise even more to make the background much, much darker, therefore increasing the dynamic range and allowing finer details to pop through. Grounding cables can help greatly with that. Using one in my setup made a big, big difference. Nonetheless, it's important that not all setups can benefit from it, so you have to be careful. I went for the absolute flagship, Terra Consequence. It's the best grounding cable you can possibly imagine available on the market right now, and it doesn't seem like it's going to change anytime soon. Most companies that produce such cables don't pay much attention to their grounding cable's construction, materials, geometry and design. But Audiomica does. This cable is made with 6N OCC copper. Such high purity ensures smooth and frictionless signal transmission. It has two layers of shielding. One is made of multi-wire copper braid and the other is aluminum foil. The plugs used here are extremely high quality. I have never seen such well-made connectors on any other product. Let's be honest for a minute. We buy audio gear, of course, with our ears. But isn't how it looks also a huge factor? After plugging this cable into my system, I immediately noticed a few changes. The sound got a teeny tiny bit more refined, which is a good thing for sure. But what mostly caught my attention was the greatly decreased background noise when nothing is playing and it's almost pitch blackness when the music is playing. I thought that my system was already perfect in that aspect. But man, was I wrong. Terribly so.